While the entire House returns to work Monday on a swath of legislation, the House Ethics Committee will also be busy beginning investigations into two Republican members, Tom Reed of New York and Matt Gates of Florida. An ethics committee release saying, among other allegations, that Gates may have engaged in sexual misconduct and or illicit drug use, shared inappropriate images or videos on the House floor, misused state identification records, and converted campaign funds to personal use. Though Reid has said he will not seek re-election, Representative Gates has dug in his heels. I'm built for the battle, and I'm not going anywhere. The congressman speaking at a rally in Miami this past Friday. The smears against me range from distortions of my personal life to wild, and I mean wild, conspiracy theories. The allegations against the Florida representative include sex trafficking of a minor as well as paying for sex with adult women. Lawyers hired by the Trump supporting congressman last week called the charges unfounded and dismissed reports that he preemptively asked the former president for a blanket pardon, saying that Gates was joking, even as the trafficking investigation continued. You know, as, uh, as the mother uh, of daughters, uh, the charges certainly are sickening. Wyoming Representative Liz Cheney, the third highest ranking Republican in the House, has been a target of Gates for having voted for the second impeachment of Trump. Gates traveling earlier this year to Wyoming. I've been here for about an hour, and I feel like I already know the place a lot better than your misguided representative, Liz Cheney. If the troubles for Gates are any vindication for Cheney, though, she is not letting on. There is an ethics investigation underway. Uh, there are also criminal investigations underway, uh, and I'm not going to comment further uh, on that publicly right now. House Speaker Nancy oh, Pelosi Dr. calling the situation a smear against the House. We uh, in the Congress, in the House, have Rule 23, which says that in the conduct of our duties, we are not to bring dishonor uh, to the House of Representatives. Uh, I think there's been a clear violation of that. The Speaker relying upon the Ethics Committee and calling out Republican leadership. And it's up to the Republican. Uh, leader, Mr. McCarthy, uh, to act upon that uh, behavior. Michael Shore, News Nation, Los Angeles.